सो हेलो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स वी विल लर्न टू डे क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव फ्रॉम एक्सरसाइज फाइव सी एथमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन सो लेट एस सी वट इज गिवेन इन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर इज थ्री हंड्रेड टेन ए टर्म ऑफ द ए पी थ्री एट थर्टीन एटीन सो वी राइट फॉर द सोल्यूशन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर ए पी थ्री एट थर्टीन एटीन देन डॉट 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 The question is whether 310 a term of this AP or not. That we have to do. So, see how we solve this. What is the first term here? Let us write a is equal to 3. And what is the common difference? The second term minus first term is equal to 5. And then we take let n term. n term b this 310 b 310 now we know we will apply the formula for an this n term an is equal to what is a plus n minus 1 into d so here see what is an an in language it is n term so we can say A n value is three hundred ten. Okay, n term meaning a n. So in symbol, so it is three hundred ten. So we write a n value is three hundred ten is equal to what is the value of a? Write here three plus n minus one into d. D value is five, and then simplify this part. Three hundred ten is equal to three plus Multiply this by five. N into five. It is five n. One into five minus one into five minus five. Next line is three hundred ten is equal to three minus five. These are the like terms. So subtract this. Three minus five is minus two. Subtract three from five. Two. The bigger is minus. Here is minus plus five n. And now we will find the value of n from here. So bring this 5n left hand side. Plus 5n will be minus 5n is equal to this minus 2. Take this 310 from left to right. It is minus 310. And then minus 5n is equal to minus 2 minus 310 is minus 312. Now. From both sides, we can cancel this minus, and to find value of n from here, 312 divide by this 5. So what do we see here? The value of n is a fraction. 312 by 5. It is a fraction. Okay. So if it is a fraction, then this 310 is not a term of this. If 310 is a term of this AP, the value of n must be a natural number. Natural number means counting number one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. So we will write here since like this. We will write since n is equal to 312 by 5. 312 by 5 is Not a natural number is not a natural number. So what will happen? This three hundred ten. I write it here. Therefore, three hundred ten is not a term. Not a term of the given AP. Of the given AP. So. If 310 is a term of the given AP, that means the value of n must be a natural number like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. And if we see the value of n is a fraction, that means this is not a term of this AP. So let us see then question number five, sub number one. Question number five, sub number one.
So I write this solution to question number five, sub number one. Let us write the AP. What is sixty-eight, and then sixty-four, and then sixty, then dot dot dot. This is the AP. And see what is the first term A sixty-eight. The sum is similar to question number four. And what is the common difference D? Second term minus first term. Sixty-four minus sixty-eight is equal to minus four. Subtract sixty-four from sixty-eight. It is four. The bigger has minus sign, so A is minus minus four. And in the same way, so which term in the AP is minus eight? We can take let minus eight. Let minus eight be the n term. So here is let n term be. We write here minus eight. Let n term be minus eight. Now we use the same formula. We know a n is equal to a plus n minus one into d. So solve in the same way. C a n meaning is what the n term. What is the value minus eight? I write here a n is minus eight. A value is sixty-eight plus n minus one into d value is what minus four into d we are into then write minus four and then minus eight is equal to sixty-eight here plus n into minus four plus into minus minus n into four is four n minus one into minus four it is plus four. Next line is minus eight is equal to add this sixty plus four. What is seventy two? This is number. This is also a number. Add this seventy two minus four n to find the value of n. Bring this n left side. Minus four n from right to left will be plus four n is equal to seventy two. Take this minus eight from left to right. It is plus eight. So we get here four n is equal to eighty. Then what is the value of n? Eighty divided by this four. So we get n is equal to what is twenty. And we see n is equal to twenty. It is a natural number. Okay, natural number meaning counting number one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. So we can write since n equal twenty. Is a natural number like this? Is a natural number. Therefore, this minus eight here we will write minus eight is a term. Is a term of the given AP. So remember in this way, if you get the value of n a natural number, then this is a Term of the AP, and if you see here is fraction, that means this is not a term of the AP. So let us see the next question, question number five two. Question number five two. We will do now question five two. So let me write question number five two. So write the AP, and I move this part. Question five two. This is one six eleven sixteen dot dot dot. The similar question. So what is a here? It is one. What is d? Second term minus first term. Six minus one is equal to five. Question is which term in the AP is three hundred one? So we take let n term be three hundred one. So This is let n term be three hundred one, and after then we will find the value of n from here. So we use the formula. We know a n is equal to a plus n minus one into d, and then for the next part, see. So what is a n? A n is the n term. The value is three hundred one. Here is three hundred one is equal to a value is one. Bring from here. Then plus n minus one into d value is five. Then p zero one is equal to one plus multiply this by five. 
5 n minus 1 into 5 minus 5 then 3 0 1 is equal to 1 minus 5 it is what minus 4 subtract 1 from 5 is 4 the bigger number has minus sign it is minus so write the plus 5 n and to find the value of n from here let us bring this 5 n from right side to left side it will be minus 5 n plus 5 n from right to left will be minus 5 n and this is minus 4 and take 3 0 1 from left to right it will be minus 3 0 1 next line minus 5 n is equal to minus 4 minus 3 0 1 both of them are minus so at the number it will be minus 3 0 5 and now this minus and minus we can cancel so what is the value of n 3 0 5 divided by this 5 so what is coming see the value of n is coming what is n is equal to this 5 6 30 5 1 is 1 so we get n equals 61 this n equals 61 is also a natural number it is not a fraction so we will write in the same way since n is equal to 61 is a natural number is a let us join this is a is a take this one natural number therefore this 301 we will write here 301 is a term of the given AP. Hmm. Question is which term in the AP is 301? So 301 is a term of the given AP. That is the answer of the sum. So what we need to find here to find the value of N. And remember if we get the value of N a counting number we also call natural number. So if this is a natural number so the this will be what a term of the given a p and if we see the value of n is a fraction that is not a term of the given a p so in this way we have to do okay you keep on watching we will continue our next sums